what's going on y'all welcome back to another video i'm doing uh the second part the part two technically to the uh the, the white guy at the barbecue the last video you just saw i don't know if you just saw it, but if you haven't seen it go watch it but uh shout out to super dave for recommending me to watch this uh should be funny okay i appreciate y'all being real patient with me and all but here's what's been going on. One, I did not make Mama T's birthday. I'll tell you why, because my dad decided to have a heart attack because about seven years ago, he decided that mayonnaise and Slim Jims was a food group. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? Fucking white people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, I already. did, however, get her a birthday present and sent her said birthday present. Now, apparently she liked it because I got the invite. Well, I got her one of them 25 gallon fish fryers, the one you hook up to the propane bottle and you can cook a uh, jagillion fish at one time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where you're at, but down here in South Mississippi, we fry a lot of fish. Well, for Memorial Day weekend, I got the call. I said, yeah, I'll be there. I'm down like four flats. Well, she, she invited me over and all that stuff. Well, I knew what I was getting into. So about a week before time for the, for the fish fry, I started making preparations. I said, I ain't, well, it's too damn hot in South Mississippi now to go over there in jeans and boots like I was last time. So I'm gonna try to fit in I'm gonna go get me a pair of Jordans. All right, I called my buddy. I said, buddy, what kind of Jordans I need to where I don't get laughed at? He said, just go get you a pair of uh, a number of Jordans. I said, all right, I'll run down there to, to Dick's and get me a pair. He said, no, 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 boy, you can't go down there to Dick's and get Jordans. I said, yeah, they sell them there. I didn't think he knew. I had no idea that there was a special kind of Jordan you had to get. What, apparently what they sell at Dick's is Team Jordans, and you get your ass laughed straight out of the barbecue on that one. You gotta go get number Jordans. At this point when he's talking, I'm as lost as an illegal immigrant at a vote for Trump rally. I'm talking about <laughs> I ain't got a shit and clue what the hell's going on, none, no, never happened. So I go on one of them websites that he sent me to fly something, bought me a pair of Jordans. Flight club. The only one that had my size, size 15. I had to get the size 15, hang on. But uh, anyway, so I show up there, and my Jordans. And after they done, you know, they laughed at me and stuff like that, you know, I thought it'd be a good conversation piece. They had told me that I have committed one of the utmost crimes known to man. Apparently, when you get a pair of Jordans, you ain't supposed to walk normal. Okay, you ain't supposed to just walk, like, increase your toe and stuff. They put me in jump man jail is what they called it. Now, let me get my shoe off. Hang on. See that right there? Got me a pair of number 23s right there. There's a crease right here. Apparently, you're not supposed to walk normal when you have a pair of Jordans. You're supposed to do walk on your heels like a March of the Penguins type deal in order to keep your shoes in pristine condition. But the price of them some bitches, I completely... Listen, 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 listen. I understand that. I get that you don't want to crease your shoes or anything. But there are like shoe shields that you can put in your shoes so that you can walk normally and they still won't crease. You know, it's not, I mean, hey, that's simple solution for those that don't like walking like penguins. You understand? That, I digress on that. Anyway, on to the fish fry. So I say hey to everybody and half of them remember me and all that type of stuff. Well, we get good and into it and I want to help, but I don't want to piss nobody off, okay? So I asked Mama T, I said, Mama T, can I help with anything? She, she said, yeah, go go see the boy that's, that's frying the fish, see if you can help him. So I, I go over there, and he's letting me help. That's how I know I'm climbing the ladder with this family, because he's letting me help. And when I say help, I mean I got to hold the tin little pan thing with the napkins in it for when he dumped the fish in, and then somebody would come get that from me and take it to the food table, because apparently they did not trust me to walk 25 feet from where I was standing to over there to the food table to put it on there. Anyway, but I'm helping. I'm acting like a fucking statue and I'm doing what a damn table could have done, but guess what? Zach's helping. Now, one of the main things that I was excited about about going back to the fish fry is I was going to win my damn money back in dice. Okay, so I went into the bank, got me $100. Once, stack them like that right yonder. I had a band around them and everything. I lost. Let me tell you something. 
I really need a, a, a course on that shit because th this shit, they, they keep making up stuff. What the fuck is a side bet? There's a some bitch over here who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. Oh, he ain't my. even in the game. He just keep on telling me to re-up. So I'm putting money over there and here. Why didn't we just increase the minimum? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, I'm betting two places, and when I lose, I lose both of them. I might win that one and look. Oh, I, I won like two. Anyway, I got the band that the hundred dollars came there. No. That's all I got left. I'm gonna win my money back. Bet. I'm, I'm coming with it. I'm gonna win it back. I don't know when, but I'm gonna get it Yo, back. Oh, this dude. But anyway, everything's going good. Oh, another thing I learned. Somebody could have told me the little red bottles of the fish fry down here in the south. That's not ketchup at a black fish fry. That's hot sauce. Somebody could have told me that there ain't a speck of ketchup nowhere, and there damn sure wasn't no tartar sauce. It was hot sauce or dry. That's Tartar all sauce. you got. Well, we you know we getting we getting on pretty well, pretty well. You know I'm seeing everybody shaking hands. Done lost my money, broke as hell again. And uh, one of the boys asked me, said, "Hey Zach, come on, we finna dance." I blame y'all for this. <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that I'm supposed to do two rounds of insanity and one round of P90X before I go get on the damn <laughs> dance floor? This is insane. Because once you get there, you don't fucking leave. You're just there. Yep. Uh, we, this, yep. Whoever had the damn iPod that was playing music had five songs back to back, and not damn one of them was the boot scooting boogie. I'm <laughs> flailing around out there. I don't have a shitting clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish that just hit the bottom of an aluminum boat in August. I'm talking about I ain't got no clue what's going on. It's hot. I'm fat. I got a bunch of shit going on. I am sweating more than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire at this point. And then, uh, what the fuck is a wobble? Yo. Like, y'all didn't tell me nothing oh about this. God. I read all the comments and nobody say nothing about this. And apparently when little John screamed, make your knees touch your elbow, his aunt almost broke my hip with her badonka donk. And you can't get off because they just, I'm in the middle of the shit just kind of white manning it, just back and forth, just wiggling my hips. I don't know what's going on. I did know the electric slide. That was a good one. After that, lost. No idea what the hell is going on. None. Uh. I did, however, learn this. I learned that there's a big difference between a barbecue and a fish fry down here. Because when we went to the barbecue, apparently everybody was on their best behavior, and a fish fry, just, just anything goes. I mean, just anything goes. I mean, at the, at the barbecue, the kids were acting right and had manners and stuff, but this fish fry, they don't give a fuck what you doing. And I had no idea that a flip-flop could be used as a deadly weapon. <laughs> no idea. There was more little kids spanked with Jordan slides at this fish fry than anything I've ever seen. There ain't been that many baby boys booty spanked since Neverland Ranch was in full operation. Uh, uh, uh. I am still confused as hell. I feel like I had a bead on this. I mean, I was leading it and everything. I ain't, I ain't shit an ounce, nothing. Sooner or later, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna quit being the laughing stock of these damn fish fries and barbecue. <laughs> shit. Yo, this dude is, yo, this dude is funny as hell for real. Oh my, yo. Thank you, Super Dave, for recommending me this video. Cause I have, I wouldn't have watched it without, you know, your. Thank you. That's all I'm gonna say. That, that funny as hell. Dude is funny as shit. He should be a comedian or something. Like, and the accent makes it like ten times better. That shit is hilarious, yo. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. Really appreciate it. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Quadra One and TikTok. I got a TikTok. Uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.